Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Honor 400 Lite. Alright, so as you can see we are doing the setup process in here, I need to select my region in here. Select that you have read and agreed to above terms, then click on continue, continue again. Now we need to connect to a network, so that is what I'm going to do now. Just give me a second, I need to type my password. Alright, then click on connect, then click on continue. Alright, it's checking for updates as you can see. Alright, getting your phone ready, this might take a few minutes, so let's wait. Okay, and now we have option to copy apps and data. We want to click on next. You want to click on next again. If you don't have a cable that fits because now the phone wants us to connect both devices to each other. If you don't have a cable that fits, we can click on no cable, click on copy without it. And now we're gonna do this wirelessly. So now click on next. Okay, now we need to open up Google app on our second device. Then click on next. You can say, okay, Google set up my device or type set up my device. I'm gonna simply type it. Set up my device. Okay, then click on next. Now it's searching for the device. As you can see, now we need to make sure that those shapes are the same on both the devices, then click on next, click on copy, and now the copying process has started. So first it's copying our account. Now we need to verify that it's us, so we need to type our password. So just give me a second. All right, and then click on next. Okay, now we need to keep on waiting. Okay, getting ready to copy. This may take a few minutes. Okay, and now we have option that we need to choose what we want to copy. We can copy apps, device settings, and the call history. For example, when it comes to the apps, you don't need to copy all of them. If you click on the apps, you can select the specific ones, but I don't know why something went wrong and I lost the connection. So now let's wait. Okay, now now it should work. So just like I said, when it comes to the apps, you don't need to copy all of them. You can simply select the specific ones. But in my case, I don't want apps. Oh, or no, actually, I want some of the apps, but maybe not all of them. So let's say only want that apps okay click on okay as you can see it's gonna take about four minutes then click on copy and now the process will start okay now getting account info now we have the google services in here click on accept you can turn on backup right in here Click on next, 
in here select your browser and also the search engine in my case it's gonna be Google Chrome and the Google now click on continue you can enable the Gemini right in here but it's not necessary all right it's still copying the apps as you can see it's gonna take about one minute we are almost above 60 percent so let's wait until it's finished all right 95 97 All right, now we can see that the copying is done. We can see it on both of the phones Now simply click on done And here we can click on close we won't be needing the phone anymore and now let's wait until another process is finished it's gonna take a little bit some time so we need to be patient all right now we have the data and privacy click on continue you can enable to send you the notifications in here we can log in into your honor id but i'm gonna set it up later in the settings I'm also gonna set the fingerprint ID later. In here, click on enable or no thanks, it's up to you. I'm gonna simply click on join into everything. In here, select the system navigations. In my case, it's gonna be gestures. Click on finish. And our phone is ready to use now. Some of the apps will be installing in the background. All right, so that was the first method all right so we are again on the setup process and i'm going to show you the second method which is by the google one okay now click on next and now we need to click that we can't use other device in here click on ok also if you don't know how to create a backup into the google one or any other backup how to create on our channel there is a video and I'm showing you the all possible ways to do the backup on this phone so if you want you can look for it all right now on this in this bar in here we need to type our Google account our email on which we made the backup so that's what I'm gonna do now All right, then click on next. Now type your password. Okay, then click on next. Click on next again. Click on I agree. Okay, and now we have option to restore data from another device. So that's the thing that we were looking for. And now we need to select the backup that we are interested in. In my case, I'm gonna click on that one. All right. And in here we need to choose what to restore. We can restore the apps, contacts, and the device settings. Simply click on restore. Okay, it's loading and now just like in the previous method, I'm gonna click on accept I'm gonna turn on the backup I'm just gonna speed run it because I was describing that in the previous method in here click on Google Chrome In here Google in my case, of course That's my prefer preferences, but if you want of course you can select anything that you want Okay, it's restoring 
so let's keep on waiting again getting your phone ready in here click on continue click on allow in my case i'm just gonna skip it all right now i'm gonna set it up later in the settings i'm gonna click on skip in here also i'm gonna speed run it and click on finish and our phone is ready to use as you can see now in the background all of the apps will be installed you can see it right in here and make sure that you are connected into the wi-fi all right so that was the second method and now let me show you the third one which is by recovering from the external storage to do it open up your settings scroll down click on system and updates and backup and restore click on the data backup above click on agree click on ok click on external storage now we need to plug in our memory card or usb storage in my case i'm gonna be using the usb storage okay i have it right, sorry right in here simply plug it in into your device okay now it should appear on the screen okay that usb storage is possible and in here we have option to restore from backup simply click on that now the data is the phone is preparing the data okay and now you can select in here what you want to restore i'm gonna leave it just like it is now then click on restore now we need to enter the password that we created earlier below we have also the hint in my case the hint is my password so i'll just rewrite then click on ok process has started as you can see it's gonna take a few seconds because there's not much data on it only the music one photo and device settings then click on done and that's all when it comes to the restoring from the external storage also we can restore using the honor suit from our pc and give me a second and i will show you how to do it all right and now i'm gonna show you how to use the honor suit to restore your backup if you have created on this app all right so you need to plug in your phone into the pc also make sure that if you click on the file transfer via usb you have enabled transfer files slash android auto and that you have enabled the developer settings simply tap on the build number a few times on the about phone in the settings then click on system and updates click on developer options scroll down a little bit and enable usb debugging right in here all right now on the app click on usb oh it's still not recognizing the the device so let's try again oh i don't know why installation failed click on ok click on usb again okay the honor suit will be downloaded on our phone click on ok okay unsafe app blocked no worries click on more details and click on install anyway okay in here click on agree now type this code in this bar okay then click on connect all right and to restore your backup click on restore button which is right in here okay now click on restore 
type your password that you have created back there. Click on OK. And as you can see now, the process is running. So now we need to wait until it gets to 100%. All right, now, as you can see, it's finished. Click on ready and that's all. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.